Russia, which has suffered numerous equipment losses, sends old cannons of 1940s to the front in Ukraine. Due to huge losses at the front, Russia is forced to remove increasingly older equipment from warehouses for which shells are sometimes simply not available. And this is where the aggressor is saved by the North Korea, which still produces shells for vintage artillery from the middle of the last century, writes Forbes. Today, the M46 howitzer, found only in museums, was developed in 1946 to 1950 and became perhaps the most powerful cannon in the USSR at that time. It required eight service personnel to fire 130 millimeter shells at a distance of 37 kilometers at a rate of five shells per minute. It's a powerful weapon, but it's heavy, difficult to transport, and labor intensive. That's why the Soviet Army replaced the M46 with the more effective 152mm howitzer in the 1970s. The heavy losses of these new guns and the depletion of Russia's pre war stockpiles of artillery barrels and shells took the Kremlin back in time. About a year into the war in Ukraine, the M46's shortcomings were no longer a problem. At that point, the alternative to old artillery was no artillery, Forbes writes. According to calculations by OSINT analyst Heimarsd, as of 2022, Russia had 665 M46 guns in reserve. By February 2024, about 65 had been withdrawn. However, the rate of reactivation has now jumped sharply. I haven't counted the exact number yet, but they probably took about half of the 130mm M46s from storage, HIMARSD reported recently. However, it is worth noting that Russian factories no longer produce 130mm shells but North Korean factories do. With its powerful projectile and decent range, the M46 is particularly useful as a counter-battery weapon that is as a howitzer for destroying other howitzers. This is the conclusion reached by the US Central Intelligence Agency, which in 2009 examined the artillery stockpiles of North and South Korea. The CIA called the M46 the most effective counter-battery weapon in Korea. But the Russians may have a hard time using these guns on the front lines in Ukraine. Russia has already lost so many trucks and artillery tractors that it has begun equipping frontline regiments and brigades with civilian all-terrain vehicles and motorcycles. Another problem with the 70-year-old M46 is that Russia is becoming dependent on the largesse of its allies. Only North Korea and Iran have retained large-scale production of the 130mm shell. To keep its new old howitzers in action, Moscow will have to maintain good relations with Pyongyang and Tehran, Forbes emphasizes. Вот он. Не он. Он сразу в кусты залег.
Он в кустах сразу изначально был. 